Hey Defenders, welcome back. So in the last video, we installed InfluxDB, deployed our Telegraph agent, and then we configured some dead man and threshold alert checks system resources such as CPU, disk space, memory, or any critical processes. In this video, I wanna show you guys how we can integrate InfluxDB directly into Copilot. So within Copilot, I'll be able to see the current, any alerts that have triggered and get their messages directly. You don't have to jump back and forth between Copilot, Grafana, InfluxDB, and all the other tools uh, within the Seam stack to, to make the integration with InfluxDB uh, a little more seamless and easier for you guys to manage. If I go into connectors here and scroll down, you'll see that we have an InfluxDB connector. I'm gonna update this guy and here I'm gonna put the URL of where my InfluxDB web UI is actually listening on. So in this case, it's just HTTP and then port 8086. Uh, HTTPS is also supported as well, but in my case, I'm just using HTTP. I then have my host name and then I have the port that the InfluxDB server is listening on, which is 8086. Now let's go ahead and generate our API key. So if I go into uh, load data here, API tokens, I'm gonna generate a custom API token. I'm just gonna call this guy Copilot so I know what token it is. I'm then going to give it read access to all buckets and then uh, under other resources, I'm gonna select read access for all checks and all orgs as well. So it doesn't need write access for anything, at least not as of yet, maybe in the future if we add uh, any feature capabilities to create influx alerts directly from Copilot, but as of now, it only needs uh, read access. I'm then going to copy my API key that is outputted and paste that within here. And then now I'm going to set my org uh, followed by a comma and then my bucket. So my bucket, I know is gonna be called Telegraph, like what we covered in the previous video. And then I know my org is going to be Sock Fortress. And that'll also uh, be in the about settings as well. So if you follow within the top left tab, select, uh, select the little profile up here, select about, you'll also see your organization name. So make sure that the, these two options are correct. Again, we have a comma separating these two. I'm gonna go ahead and select save. And now the uh, InfluxDB has been connected and verified. And now if I go into my health checks tab within Copilot, you'll now see all of our health checks that have ran. And this will be very similar to the output that you see within InfluxDB. If you select the alerts history, it'll be the same table um, that we see here. And we also do have checks running. Let me just clear uh, clear the previous checks that have run ran. And let's actually now stop our Grafana service because this is a critical service that I was monitoring and that we covered in the previous video. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll link that down in the description below. Let's go ahead and stop the Grafana server process. Just run a status to make sure it's stopped. And yeah, sure enough, it is. So our critical, critical process is going to be pulling every one minute. So within the next minute here, we should see that the Grafana service has stopped and then we'll also get an alert within a Copilot as well. And sure enough, we get our influx alert and then uh, we see within the health check page here that a critical system service is down and from our message template that we can actually see that it is the Grafana server service. And if we hover over the little icon, you can get a total number of critical alerts um, within the system. But Copilot is only interacting with the alerts that you have configured within InfluxDB. So to actually create new alerts and alert mechanisms, you actually need to do so within InfluxDB. But once they're added here and InfluxDB is starting to now pull for whatever new alert threshold you've set that will also be reflected within Copilot. So if there's any feature ideas you have, you guys have with InfluxDB and its integration with Copilot, feel free to jot them down in the comments or open issues on GitHub for feature requests. And I appreciate you guys' time and I will see you in the next one.